So when we come to wanting to export data for setting out um, to the Trimble Access software, then we have a few choices to make regarding formats. Um, one important thing before we deal with that is that some of the um, exports rely on looking at the surface geometry and sampling it. So we can see here that there's a setting in the, that's attached to the template, which is the sampling distance. So if I set that to 10 meters, you can see we're getting a much less dense surface compared to if I go in here and sample it at one meter. So when we're choosing an export that is sampling the surface, then that's a very important surface uh, setting. Um, so if we want to export this data, we can just choose export. My preferred option is Trimble Access Road Strings. Here we can see that we can choose the, for the road that we want. We can choose the start and end chainage. We don't have any side slopes in this road, so we don't need to worry about that. And then we can export it directly to a GenIO file or a Land XML file. If I choose GenIO um, and then we export that, which I've already done, if we now jump across to Trimble Access, then we can see that we have the CRD that we've exported here, and I can choose to review that CRD file, and we can see the road file here. Now, if we just review it, we can see that there does seem to be some generalization based on the sampling that we've done in TBC. But most importantly, if I actually select one of these strings, then, and I look at the cross section, we can see that we've actually got the proper geometry going on there. So we've got the full width of the road, which is, uh, well, we've got uh, two and a half meters additional here to the 275 here, and then we've got the 1 and 40 going up the way. So despite the graphics, we have got the full road geometry going on there. Um, if I just jump back to the plan view and zoom extents, these tricky um, objects here, again, it looks like we've got ge some generalization here, but when we select this element here, then we've got the proper grade going across 140, um, and we've got the full road width at 7.511, which will correspond what's in TBC. Um, another option on the exports is to export um, RXL templates. Um, so I wouldn't use any of the other exporters here. Um, if we choose exporter from a surface, then we have to um, we the, the control point method is not that effective sampling interval is very similar to what's going on here so my preference is to use either trimble access road strings which is my preferred option the only reason i would use trimble access road rxl templates is if i wanted people on site to have the ability to edit the file so here we can choose road one and we can choose um corridor interval which basically just means that um it's the same setting as we've got here, or if I wanted to override it by way of when we're creating. So this is when we're creating the actual um, templates. If I say we want to create a template every um, 100 mil, then we can set that here. And it's basically going to sample what's happening um, every 100 millimeters. There's still the possibility here that it could get caught. Um, so you might miss a corner point. So it's not my preferred method. Um, it is possible to sample something like two centimeters, a centimeter even. So if I go back from the access here and look at one we've done, then we can see here we have different uh, RXL files that have been sampling, sampled at different rates. And you can see there's quite a considerable difference in size. So this one was sampled at one centimeter and we're getting pretty decent accuracies um, in the actual export. So we can see here we're getting it uh, working pretty well. And then if we go around here, this is the most problematic area because of the width. Um, again, we're getting that to work quite well. If we look at one of the other ones, so if I just go back to here and choose to choose this one here and review that one. And just turn off all the other ones.
this one doesn't look too bad, but you will find in certain areas that you will see that the uh, accuracy is affected um, by how frequently you're sampling that file. Um, so just be aware of that. So my preference is to use the road strings. Um, you generally will get a, a better accuracy of the model when you're exporting it. So that's a quick review of exporting data to um, Trimble Access file formats for setting out.